Good day everyone and welcome to Exile News, the weekly show that brings you all the important news and informations on Pact of Exile. And the first news we got this week are some of the pages which have been given out to the winners of the talent competition. And some of these are different from the previews we got a couple weeks ago, so this one is the same. But this one I'm pretty sure was not there. And this one as well with Fidelitas, pretty nice things. And the fact is that those pages are originals and there's only one copy of those. So those those, those people who actually got one of those uh, are pretty lucky because there is only one copy of those. It's also signed and everything, so that's pretty damn cool. On other news, the content update 2.5.2 bringing with him the uh, last performance improvement which we talked about last week and also adding some uh, minor things like 3D art for the Aberrath hooves which you can see in the screenshot along with the tool wand uh, I think this is a Vis Mortis and the microtransaction helmet just to make it look very very cool this is the entrance of the library as well but uh, the only thing we care about is the Aberrath hooves 3D art and a bunch of fixes came with the patch as well, so pretty good uh, overall. And then we got the winners for the talent competition, and there's a lot of winners, like, I mean, a lot, but the top three winners, uh, first one made a handmade Mjolnir, uh, pretty damn good, looking very heavy right there, uh, some music, and a very interesting video kind of going through uh, the lore of Virtue Gems using um, f some of the art. I think it, f it feels like it's taken from the, from the comic and then it's animated, so it's pretty damn well done. And uh, I expected GDG to give the three top three winners uh, to different kind of um, submissions so we got a handmade thing we got a music and we got a video slash fan art so just to show that everyone and every uh, mean can win in these competitions so it's just not fan arts and also we got of course the normal winners and there's a lot of those this guy this artwork is so amazing and I'm just gonna skip very quickly except for a couple ones like this wandering eye which has been knitted and carefully placed looks pretty good a very interesting 360 degrees fan art uh, if you haven't looked at it i highly recommend it it's pretty interesting i didn't know you could do these kind of things on youtube and some more things definitely a lot and i mean a lot of very interesting things even a card game I mean, that must have taken a lot of time. I'm sure someone is enjoying playing with that. So, very, very, very interesting things from the community. This time, much more than usual in terms of uh, participation. So a lot more players actually participated in that, which is always good. And it kind of brings the community together as well. So that's very nice. And here we come to the real big news of the week, which is the fact that Path of Exile is coming to Xbox One later this year. And this is something GGG didn't even hint at all. And now they come out with this like straight out of the blue with the big news. And we can see a couple screenshots. There's going to be two different, very different realms from the computer to the Xbox One. And those two realms will not intersect in any way shape or form this is because as you can see from the screenshot players on xbox one will only have access to four flasks so that's a very big change already they'll have probably eight slots you can see on the right here so i guess you can put all the auras on the other slots and then the good spells on the one because i mean switching between one and the other might be a bit difficult the thing is many people are wondering how movement skills will work, like how will uh, lightning warp work. It's gonna be pretty hard to do with a controller. And GG said uh, they are balancing and they are changing some of the skills, especially the, uh, for the targeting for the Xbox version. And there's been a lot of controversy going on in the forums, on Reddit, on videos and everything, because 
people are wondering how much this will impact the game, the actual PC version, and it definitely will impact it in some way, whether uh, it's very good or very bad. Um, the PC game will uh, have some consequences. However, GGG and Chris Wilson himself came out and said they are they have been uh, kind of preparing for this since 2014. Still, people um, had some legit complaints about not knowing this, so thinking they were supporting uh, the game for the PC version. Instead, maybe uh, they are not, but I, it's, it's a very complicated thing, and I'm sure GGG knows what they're doing, so until they actually fail, I'm gonna be on their side, even though, I'm gonna lie, this is a bit worrisome, and on a side note, I'm wondering what's this guy doing, like, semi-disappearing mid-screenshot, I guess it's edited somehow, not sure, just wondering, anyway, the people noticed uh, from the trailer for the Xbox version, that there are a couple of things, for example, there's a snowy area, so everyone's getting hype on that, there's um, Act 1 with um, the city, the Line Eyes Watch uh, being more lighted, like with the sun, and with another NPC where Nessa is right now, so that's definitely making people wonder, and also some sneak peeks at new content. Of course, these are screenshots for the Xbox version, so as you can see, the UI, I think it's pretty neat, uh, looking pretty good. This energy shield is definitely uh, quite different from the one we got. Still, if you want to know more about the Xbox version, there is a manifesto post that GG posted, so I'll link that in the description below where you can take a read and maybe understand a bit more some of the reasons GG is doing this. Also, uh, if you want to hear the opinion of some uh, kind of famous people in the community, uh, you can check a lot of uh, videos on Reddit and YouTube. For example, Creep came out and said something, ZD came out and said something, Yoji did say something, Mathiel. Kind of everyone, if you're following like the streamer scenes, uh, you will have a lot of videos where that you can check and hear different type of opinions, which is always better than just going with your own opinion straight on, because it will it will probably uh, just tell you something that you didn't think about and it will give you a better understanding of the whole situation so that's about it for the xbox version we got another news to look at and it's about the new water system that ggg is kind of preparing and it's kind of a simulation system and you can see there's a little wave that's coming i mean it looks pretty good it definitely looks better than the one we got right now, however, I think water in Path of Exile still has a very, very long way to go. I'll wait uh, my judgment on this one for when I see it, but still, uh, I think the only water that looks good in the game right now is the flowing one, like the one that's in the aqueduct and the uh, um, underground river map. That water is really good. This water here is okay -ish, I guess. Hopefully, with the new system, it will look a lot better. And I mean, it's still an improvement, so I'm not gonna shit on that. And yeah, I guess that was all for this week. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment down below. Also, if you want to remain updated every week, be sure to subscribe to my channel. So that was all. I've been your host, Zordzom, and I'll see you guys the next time.